Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I've talked with you face to face. I've missed you. So I'm going to start a little series called Holly's Dollies. Isn't that a great name? I know, it's a great name. But basically I'm just going to be talking about my dolls because I'm kind of obsessed with them right now. Um, so I'm sorry right now if this video is really long, but I've been meaning to make a video about my doll Sophie for a really long time. And I just really, really love her. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the customizing process because this was my first time ever doing anything to one of my pull-up dolls. Um, so she is a pull-up Akemi. And this is what she looked like when I very first got her. I just love, love, love her face up. Um, but I really wanted to change um, her hair and some other things. And I figured that... Um, since I loved her so much, I don't know, I just wanted to customize her. Some of my other dolls I get, I don't customize. I just leave how they are, but I really wanted to customize her. So I'm just going to go through um, the process of everything that I did. So the very, very first thing that I did was I got her a new wig. Now, this isn't the first wig that I got her. I actually got her a blonde wig, and I really, really love that wig. It's one of my favorites. I actually have it on one of my other dolls um, right now. But it's from Clara's Peach on Etsy, and I absolutely love it. It's a great, great quality wig. It was the very first wig I had ever bought, and I was really, really impressed with it, not having seen really any other wigs. Um, I mean, I had seen the ones that came on the dolls, which aren't that great. Um, but it's a really, really nice quality. So I really loved that wig on her, and I died over it. But that's not the wig that I had in mind for her. Pull Up Akemi is very blue and pink. She has a lot of blue and pink on her makeup. Um, and so I really wanted to incorporate that still with her. Um, because when she came, obviously she had pink and blue hair. So I wanted to keep the, blue, keep the pink and blue hair, but I wanted it to be a lot prettier. Um, so anyway, so I kept that wig on her for a little bit. And then I was like, I need to find a pink and blue wig that I really like. So I looked and I looked... And I finally found this wig, and it's really pretty. It's blue on top, and then it has pink and then kind of like a purple, too, mixed in. You can't really see the purple super well, but the purple's kind of like underneath. I got this wig on AliExpress, and it took forever to come. Um, I don't know if it's just AliExpress. I've had... It's been very hit or miss with AliExpress, um, but this one took maybe over a month to come, and I know that's because they hack, I think they hand make it, so that's fine, but I would love to find a wig maker in the U.S. that I don't have to wait a month for a wig, because when I bought the Clara's Peach one, it didn't take very long at all, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know what the deal was, but it took forever. I think one of my favorite parts about this wig is that it has side swept bangs. I don't know why. I've been really, really obsessed with side swept bangs on dolls right now. And I just love how these go um, because it's kind of long but short at the same time. I don't know. But I really, really love this wig on her. Um, I really love the blonde one wig on her too because her face is so sweet. Like her makeup is so pretty. Um, but I really do love this wig on her as well. So, actually, before I got this blue wig in, the first thing that I did to her was I changed her body. So, I got a Obitsu body, and I was really scared about it, and I tried to do as much research as I could. I ended up getting a soft body type 3, I think. It's the one with the smallest boobs, because there's, like, three different size boobs that you can get. You can get like ginormous ones. So I definitely got the smallest ones for her because um, I didn't need her to have big ones. Um, but it is the soft body and I got it in the normal color I think. Maybe it was white. Basically not the super pale one I don't think. I think they have like a really really white one. This is just the normal color so it's just the same color as her head. Um, but putting on the Obitsu body um, was fairly easy. I saw a tutorial on it. The hardest part was having to cut the peg and I think what I ended up doing was heating up a blade and having to cut it off and it kind of melted the plastic onto the blade. So it's definitely kind of difficult. So I really recommend if you are 
um, younger to have a parent help you with that because it was kind of dangerous and it was kind of difficult. So um, that part wasn't very fun at all. Um, and her head is very, very floppy. And I know that there are ways to fix this with the plumber's tape, but I just don't feel like taking her head off and putting the plumber's tape on there. Um, but yeah, so um, I've had a lot of issues with her body. I love the posability because like her knee joint is way more flexible than the original stock body. Um, and I love that and I love, love, love that it comes with extra hands. And I can show you the extra hands in a second um, if you haven't seen them. But that was the main actual reason for me getting an Obitsu is because of the extra hands because I love having the extra hands. But I was just getting so frustrated because her body was just so floppy and I kind of fixed it. I basically had to rip her body apart and fill it with some tissue and you can't really see but I had to stuff some tissue in there because she was so floppy and her bottom half kept coming off and it was just frustrating the living daylights out of me. So um, I finally have it fixed now. There are a couple tutorials. I forget what it's called. Um, when you fix it, I think it's like deflopping or something, um, but there are ways to stuff it kind of with foam to make it a little less floppy because I was just getting so frustrated. Um, but I do really, really love her body um, right now and I love her extra hands. So I'll show you the extra hands that she came with. I got the body from junkiespot.com and they give you, I think it was eight hands. So you get like a little pointy hand and a fist hand and this hand, which I'm not really sure if this is like a pointing or if it's like a saluting hand. I really, really wish there was a peace sign one. So if anyone knows where I can get like a peace sign one for an obitsu body, I know that there are other types of bodies that have different hands, but I don't want to have to buy a different kind of body for her just for the hands but there's this is my favorite hand because you can hold stuff and then there's another one for the other side and then another fisting one another fist um but yeah so it comes with these different sized pegs and the one that she has in her um I had to cut pretty much you know from there up on it and it was not very easy but once you get it it works out really well but um, there are lots of tutorials on putting on an Ibitsu body that I had to watch because I didn't know what I was doing. So I changed her body. Then I wanted to change her eyes. And because when I first got her, she had one pink eye and one blue eye. And as much as I thought that was really cute, I really wanted her to have blue eyes. So I bought some eyes from Cool Cat. And I'll put all the links down below in the description. So don't worry about that. Um, but I got them from Cool Cat and I got two pairs. So I got these, which I think are really pretty and very, very kind of sparkly. And I got another pair that's more kind of like a teal color and I'm still trying to find, I'd really like to have ones that are more realistic looking cause these are still kind of, you know, kind of cartoony looking and I'd really like to have really realistic looking ones. So I'm still looking for those. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments because um, I see some on Etsy um, that I might be getting. I'm not sure. But for now, I like these eyes. So I'll leave them for now. But um, the eyes was very challenging um, to, to change them. Um, I saw, I watched a tutorial where they basically walk you through it. And I got to the part where you have to poke the chips that are already in there you have to poke them from the back to pop them out and the girl in the video made it look really really easy and I was like I could do that sure and so I got to that part in the tutorial video I was watching and they would not come out and I was breaking the chips from the other side but they would not pop out of the white pupil part so or the eyeball part so it literally took me I had to boil the iMech in hot water because I saw a tutorial to do that to kind of loosen the glue because I guess they use a glue to glue them in there. So I boiled it in hot water for what felt like forever. I tried it again and it wouldn't budge. Boiled it again, 
try to get it out would not work. I finally had my husband help me because I was scared I was going to rip my hand off. And he finally got one of them out and then I got the other one out. But I thought I was going to like stab myself because I think I was using like a screwdriver or I forget what I was using. But I was trying to poke them out and it was really, really hard. I'm not going to lie and say it was really easy for me. It was really difficult. Maybe I was doing it wrong. I don't know. I've tried to look at a bunch of tutorials and they just said, oh, just poke them out. Okay, that's easy. The chips didn't fit in perfectly well, so I had to use a little bit of glue. Um, so I hope that when I want to change them again, I can pop it out pretty easy. But I also act, I also changed her um, eyelashes, and you can't really tell a whole lot, but I actually ripped off her old eyelashes, and I put on some fake eyelashes that I got at Daiso. So you can't really tell. Maybe you can. I don't know. But anyway. So that's her body and her hair and her eyes. So those were, the eyes were definitely the hardest part. But now that they have been popped out, the original ones, I probably won't have any issues from now on, thank God, because it was really awful. Um, so yeah, so that's her body part, body part. <laughs> so I really wanted to keep her outfit with her same theme. And I'm still playing around with what I want her to wear most of the time. But I found this hoodie. And I'm really, really obsessed right now with, like, doll sweaters and doll hoodies. Um, that's, like, pretty much all that she wears is, like, doll sweaters and hoodies. But I found this hoodie from Blythism on Etsy. And I absolutely love it. It even has the hood back here. It's very well made. And she can even put her hands in here. Like, it's exactly like a real hoodie, and I can't get her hand in there. So, yeah, you can put her hands in the hoodie pocket, which I think is so cute. So, I have pictures of her with both her hands in there, because she's too cool for school. But I absolutely love this hoodie. It is a little bit plain. I kind of wish it had a little bit more stuff on it. So, I don't know. I may eventually put something on the front. I don't really know. But I really, really love it a lot, and I have different colors as well. Um, I got her just this plain tulle skirt. It is really short, and it kind of doesn't really fit super well on her obitsu body, and her butt's kind of hanging out, but I just wanted a really, like, fun, frilly skirt to go with a hoodie, um, because I really like that style of kind of girly but tomboy at the same time. I've always really liked that. Um, so I wanted her to have a hoodie and then a skirt. So I got this skirt from, I think it was Sunny Bobo on Etsy as well. And they have a lot of doll stuff. They have a lot of really cute shoes that I want to get as well. Um, she is right now wearing her socks that her, that she came with, her stock. Um, because I still like the pink and blue theme and I just added kind of purple. And then I got these shoes from eBay, I believe. They were really cheap and they had like a little elephant sticker on them. Um, these shoes fit, I think, like, I've seen them in pictures on a ton of different kinds of doll, um, dolls, um, but these actually look slightly big to me, um, but I think they're really, really cute, and I want to get a bunch more in different colors, and maybe mix, mix and match color shoes on her as well, I don't know, but I really, really like them, and I think they fit, um, well with her outfit. Um, but I got some other stuff that I want to show you because they're really, really cool. So I got this sweater and it's super, super cute and kawaii. And it is from Amy Lily on Etsy. And so it has like a unicorn on it. It has these cute little, um, pink sleeves with a little bow. And this is actually meant to be like an off the shoulder kind of sweater. And I think it is so cute. She has really, really cute stuff. So you should go check her out because I love, love, love all of her sweaters. I mentioned this sweater in my opening video for my pull-up IO, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show it again. But I have this dinosaur sweater um, that I absolutely love. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it. Um, but this is from Tinkerina on Etsy. And I really, 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 really love her sweaters. I want to buy all of them because... Like I said, I'm just really obsessed with doll sweaters. So, and like sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts that are big. Um, but I really love this. It has really cute dinosaurs on it and I love it so much. And she's really, really amazing. So, I love that. Um, I got these um, leggings for Sophie. 
um, because they're perfect colors, blue, purple, and pink, and they have clouds, and these are so, so pretty. Um, they have, I believe that the store is called Q Magic, but I'll put all the links down below, like I said, but they have amazing, amazing tights. I actually got some black ones that my mini doll is wearing right now, and those are more kind of like the thick because I had bought tights for her before, but they were like fishnet and they were kind of see-through and they made her look kind of more adult, I guess. <laughs> so I wanted to get ones that were more opaque and you couldn't see through them and they were just black. So I got some from there and they're super well made and really, 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 really cute. So they have all sorts of different colors. They have really cute cat tights too. So if you are looking for some cute leggings, go check them out because they're amazing. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will post all the links down below that I mentioned. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want to know more about my dolls. Uh, if you like these types of videos because I just really, really love my dolls right now. Um, so yeah, check out my Flickr down below for more photos. Don't forget to join my pull-up Facebook group if you haven't already where we talk about pull-ups and all the related dolls. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!